Welcome to another episode of Overland Travellers. We start this episode at the crack of dawn at Eagle Bluff campsite near Denham. We are up early to see the dolphin feeding at Monkey Mire. So this morning we got up uh, bright and early before the sun had risen and we went to the Monkey Maya dolphin feeding experience, which Ellen really liked. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment we are at the entry of Francois Perron National Park, so here on like the Shark Bay Peninsula and we're going out to the National Park today. So we're just airing down. We, we came here. Love in, this area. Yeah. Awesome. Came here in 2019, so really keen to go and see it again. Yeah. Can you get some nice shots and yeah. see what's changed? Maybe yeah. nothing. <laughs> Entry fees and camp fees apply via cash at the entry point to Francois Peron National Park. But as you'll see, it's well worth it. With campsites, it's first in, best dressed to get a spot. The roads in don't require any hardcore four wheel driving, but can get quite rough. Bit of a bumpy. <laughs> They're like giant corrugations. <laughs> Righty, so we're walking down here to Skipjack Point and we're going to see what we can see. What can you see, Ellen? I see water. <laughs> Fair enough. Francois Perron is famous for its abundant array of sea life and some truly untouched coastline. In our opinions, it's also some of the most spectacular. Welcome to Cape Peron. So we are obviously in Francois Perron National Park. This is the most probably westerly point of the park and in my opinion, the most dramatic spot. It's very pretty. So yeah. there's really red, quite dramatic cliffs, white sand. And then very blue, blue water. So at Skipjack Point, we actually were lucky enough to see a dolphin and a turtle. That's a really good spot if you want to see some marine life. And then we're just going to spend sunset down here. Adrian has wet the line. We're just sitting back and waiting for magic to happen with the sun. Yeah, it's gonna 
It's gonna pop. The cliffs yeah. are gonna pop. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. And we're gonna take you along with us. <laughs> After another beautiful west coast sunset, we head back to camp to cook some dinner. We are up early the next day to restock before our drive out to Steep Point and Dirk Hartog Island. Good morning everyone, we're back on the road. We are actually leaving Francois Perron today and heading to Sea Point and then tomorrow we're heading to Dirk Hartog Island which we're really excited about something we haven't done yeah no really keen to jump on heard good things about it and we kind of got really lucky we managed to get on during school holidays and there is a limited amount of vehicles allowed on the island at any one time I've never seen sand so bumpy at this <laughs> yeah so we're in a very bumpy bit of sand at the moment as Adrian just said it's like giant corrugations like yeah. literally giant <laughs> sort of weird mogul. You literally just have to like crawl over them. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a slow going this drive morning. this morning. We're going to hit a hot tub on the way out. There's a natural spa hot like an spring. artesian waters. Artesian, yeah. It's pretty nice. We've been in it before. So yeah, got a pretty big day ahead. Big drive. Lots of fall driving out to the camp, the steep point. Uh, most westerly point of Australia. So it should be a good day. <laughs> Tub's closed. Yeah. It's not written anywhere, but it's closed Monday and Fridays between 8 and 11 for cleaning. It is Monday at 8.40 at the moment. So keep that in mind if you want to come to the hot tub. Which is a real shame. Oh, I mean, at least they clean it. Well, yeah, it, it's not a shame they clean it. It's a shame that we're here at this time. Yeah, it's a shame that we're just here at this time. That could be us. That could have been us. <laughs> Look, there's Matt. Oh, a bit more hair than Matt though. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking down to Shell Beach and the um, name says it all. It's a beach made of shells. <laughs> but the reason is because this bay here is twice as salty as the open ocean. This to do with the currents and coming in, not being able to get out, evaporating and creating a really salty um, environment where not too many animals can actually live. But there is one particular variety of shells that can and now they're fried. And now there's just beaches of them.
After a quick look at Shell Beach, we head to the most westerly point of mainland Australia, Steep Point. It's been great visiting places for a second time since our first lap in the Hilux in 2019. But it's also amazing just how much has changed. Many roads that weren't tarred before are now sealed, including a large section of this one. We drove back the few kilometres down the road to the barge campsite for Dirk Hartog Island, where we would be departing in the morning. It is part of the national park and needs to be booked. So because it is super windy tonight, we have pulled out the induction, which is, um, yeah, it's just good in conditions like this. It's great to have the option, mm. um, all the options of cooking. Yeah, induction, it's really, really good. I like yep. it, I rate it, don't diss it. Yeah. <laughs> we settled into a stormy and windy night, excited for the adventure starting the next day on Dirk Hartog Island. So definitely tune into that one next week, you don't want to miss it. See you in the next one, cheers. <laughs>